Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Sebs, and uh, I actually wanted to have a little bit of a talk with you. So um, I took down our Hotel California reaction video. To all of you who watched it, thank you so much. We had great traction. Within like three days, we had like 53,000 views or something. I had an absolute amazing time uh, watching that. The Eagles blew me away. Their talent in person, in a live performance. It was inspiring. I don't know what other word to use. So a lot of y'all uh, hit me up later, either in the comments there, uh, DMing me in other social media platforms, emailing me, telling me that other channels have been getting uh, strikes from the Eagles, well, from their label on those videos. They're not just uh, blocking them or demonetizing them. So because I have so much fun with YouTube, I didn't want to risk having it on, having it up, and then not being able to post for a few weeks or let alone just have my channel completely taken away. If you want to watch that video, you can uh, go in the description down below and uh, go on Patreon. Now, I, so I wanted to share some thoughts with this. I'm no Rick Beato, but yeah, have some thoughts here. I do not feel entitled to make money off of these videos when I listen to other people's musics, music on the channel. If anything, I wish there was a way for us to easily transfer like the views and the revenue we generate back to the, the content, the content's copyright owners. That would be the dream for this sort of channel. Again, if all I'm doing is providing commentary, I don't know. Again, I don't feel like I'm entitled to like make money off of that. Maybe the copyright owners can then decide to like share revenue, like thanking you for generating an audience and taking it to them. But that's just a dream. I don't think it'll ever happen. But the reason I started a reaction channel is first off, I have a, a, a great job and a, and a job that I, I frankly want to keep giving my all at. I have my family and I don't want to sacrifice my time with them. I try to make sure I always set myself time to go to the gym every day. So the time it would take to, you know, heavily produce some, produce these videos that are again, all original and whatnot. I didn't or don't feel like I had the time for that. So I was like a reaction channel might be fun to do. Because if anything, you, you, you'd rather a reaction video, like you don't want it to be edited. So all I had to do was press record and post it, you know? But it felt like if I use this way to generate audiences from various different groups, and we generate the, these audiences because of these shared experiences and experiencing that thing that we watched or listened to together, maybe if I ever start putting up some more original content, maybe it'll do better. I don't know. I could be wrong, but time will tell. We'll see if it works. I think reaction channels... I think they're an interesting thing. When I showed Allie, my wife, The Matrix for the first time, or, or when I took Millie to go watch the Super Mario Bro Brothers movie a few, like several months ago, all I, all I did was watch their faces watch that. As humans, we have empathy and vicarious emotions. Watching others' reactions allows us to like empathize and experience things vicariously, bringing back to remembrance the experiences that we ourselves had when we saw, listened to, watched the thing for the first time. And then when we're looking at someone's reaction for something that hit us like that, maybe it's that tribal instincts that we all have. We all want to bond and have like some of the things that we enjoy be validated. We are social beings more than anything, right? So, so it's like we're seeking that sort of, I think community is the best word. Then oftentimes reaction videos are just fun to watch, like watching people watch Lord of the Rings for the first time or something like that. I love those videos. Years ago, No Life Shack uh, pulled up on my YouTube and I started following him, listening to like all of this, like Metallica, like him watching Metallica. Like those were, I remember that was just like a cool experience for me. So it, 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 it may not take a lot of effort to do one of these channels. Like, and, and honestly, that's why it's fun. The effort comes into having interesting perspectives and you can only have interesting perspectives if you're trying hard things in life and you actually then have something interesting to say because you are an interesting person within, you know? But that's as much work as you need to do. So that's a long-winded explanation of like, again, why did I take down the Hotel California video? It'll always be there again. Like I have so much fun and maybe we'll edit it down quite a bit to... Like as a 10 minute video, we cut it into like three, four minutes of just like interesting moments. I don't know. But to all of you who watched that, to all of you who subscribed to the channel with that, thank you so much. Thank you all for the warnings. Again, I don't, I just, I have so much fun on YouTube. I don't feel, I don't feel like getting kicked out. And it's not like I'm getting these strikes because I'm saying these incredibly, like I'm not being censored, right? Again, these are, we're dealing with copyrights here. And I honestly think it's sort of fair. 
I'm not gonna lie, the strikes that uh, that the Eagles label has done for these videos I feel like it's a little over the top, but whatever. One can dream that we can create these tools so that we can make make reaction videos something that the copyright owners don't freak out so much about, right? But at the same time, just make interesting content. Thank you so much for being here. Hit like, subscribe. And also stay tuned. We're going to do a little giveaway in the channel soon. A little jump start to starting off your own uh, YouTube channel. So stay tuned for that. We'll most likely put up a video announcing it. Bye, everybody.